Good day and welcome to question 3B of the 2024 Demonstrate Mathematical Reasoning paper number 91947. This is a five credit paper and we are doing question 3B which is a merit question. So without further ado, let's read the question. Okay, the question sounds like this. Okay, I'm going to adjust the paper. Okay. So, a sequence is shown in the table x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, y equal to 24, 35, 48, 63, and 80. Find an equation that represents y for any given x value. Justify your answer by showing an appropriate mathematical reasoning. So without further ado, let's try to solve this. So when you do this, this is a, a quadratic equation because we insist in a moment. So first difference, we need to find the first difference. From 24 to 35 is going to be 9. Then 35 to... No, 35 is 11, sorry. 35 to 48 is going to be 13. 48 to 63 is going to be 15. And 63 to 80 is going to be 17. So if this is not the same number, then this is a quadratic equation, okay? If it's all the same, then it's going to be a linear equation. So now we need to find the second difference, okay? From 11 to 13 is going to be 2, and now 13 to 15 is also 2, 15 to 17 is 2, okay? So now the equation of y and x is going to be quadratic, y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? To get your a, is just half of the first difference. In our case, of the second difference, sorry, second difference. So because our second difference is 2, so it's going to be half of 2, and a is going to be equals to 1. So now if a equals to 1, the equation now becomes y equals to x squared, because a is 1x squared plus bx plus c, okay? Now it's our job to find what is b and c. c is simple. What we're going to do is that we are going to make x equal to 0. Okay, when x is 0, we need to find a number before 11 is going to be 9, okay? So in that case, 9 is going to be 15, because 15 plus 9 is equal to 24. So we're going to increase 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. So we're going to increase at a pattern there. So an x is 0, y is 15. So that means that your c is equal to 15, okay? So in that case, the equation now becomes y equal to x squared plus bx plus 15. And of course, we need to find the value of B. To find the value of B, we can use any pair, 124, 235, 348, 463, or 580. But the easiest is, of course, we're going to do the 124. So when X equals to 1, Y equals to 24, we're going to find these two uh, values and put it into this equation. So Y is 24, so Y is 24 when x is 1. So 1 squared, is, of course x is 1, 1 squared is 1, plus b times 1 is going to be b plus 15, okay? So it's going to be 24 equals to 1 plus 15 is 16 plus b, and you minus 16 on both sides of the equation, so b equals to 8. So once you find your b equals to 8, put that into this equation, so your final equation is going to be y equals to x squared plus 8x plus 15 if you get it right and that will be a merit in this paper hope you watch question 3c in the next video and i'll see you soon cheers